Inspiration is the mother who raises her children single-handedly despite economic struggles. Inspiration is the child who sees the world in its purest and most unbiased form. It's the guy who always holds the door open and the girl who says something nice to everyone she meets. Inspiration is the musician who sees the world in sounds and plays the heartstrings of his audience like a cello. These inspirations are all people. And oftentimes, people are inspired by other people. They are inspired by driven and passionate people because those people have a fire in them. They are bright and vibrant, and they make people want to get up and do something amazing. And when inspiring people get together in one room, what happens is nothing short of magic. This year in February, I was chosen to attend Jack Summit. Canada's only national student-led mental health innovation summit. 200 young people from across Canada, from every province and territory, met to discuss how we can end the stigma around mental illness. Before the summit, I really had no idea how many people are affected by mental illness. I have never personally struggled with it, so I wasn't sure what I would actually have to offer at the summit. But when I got there, the thing that I realized is that inspiring people have a way of showing you that you too can do great things. The people at Jack Summit not only welcomed me into the conversation about mental health with open arms and taught me where we stand now, they listened to my ideas on where to go next. For me, it was inspiring because they made me feel important, like I was doing something amazing simply by being there. The reason I felt that way was because I was surrounded by students who were just living their lives and sharing their stories. It was absolutely incredible. Everyone there wanted to make a difference in the world after just one weekend of being with 200 young people. Now, where else do hundreds of young people meet to discuss ideas and learn about the world? That's right, school. But how often is school inspiring? Personally, I have had many teachers inspire me, teachers who continue to inspire me. But I don't always leave school every day wanting to change the world. Usually, I want to change to pajamas and watch Netflix. I took it a step further and I asked 30 students a few simple questions so I could have some raw numbers today. The first question revealed that... There we go. The first question revealed that 86.7% of the students had been inspired at some point by school, which is awesome. But when asked if they felt inspired after leaving school every day, 93.3% said no. To put this in perspective, our school district, school district number 73, had 6,699 high school students in 2013. If 93.3% of students were not inspired each day, that would be 6,250 students leaving school uninspired. It's startling when you look at it that way. Now, obviously this was a small sample group and this would need to be tested much more in order to prove what I'm saying, but if 30 students from here to Prince George to Winnipeg mostly agree that school isn't inspiring every day, maybe we need to shake things up a bit. Imagine if that number were zero. Imagine if every student went home at the end of the day feeling inspired, went home wanting to change the world, went home feeling important, like they were doing something amazing simply by being at school. How do we make this happen? To be honest, I'm not entirely sure. I don't have all the answers, but I do have questions. We need to ask ourselves, when is school inspiring? Why are those times inspiring? And how do we take those ideas and put them in school on a daily basis? The answers may be complex, but we have a perfect example of how to inspire students in front of us. I'm literally looking at it right now. This event is intended to inspire youth and teach us how to inspire students. This is a huge step in the right direction. And remember, 86.7% of students have been inspired at some point by school. So school is inspiring. We just need to look at ways to inspire students more often. 
The first step to inspiring more youth is talk about inspiration more. Give examples to show students what they can do and continue to encourage inspiration. So students, talk to your friends. Who inspires you? Why? Tell your classmates. Get them to be inspired too. Students have changed the world. Look at Craig and Mark Kielberger, founder of Free the Children and Me to We. Look at Malala Yousafzai, the youngest ever Nobel Prize laureate. She is 17 years old. Look at Vital Chastanet, a boy photographed by Brandon Stanton of Humans of New York. Vital's photo and his words about his principal inspired people to raise over a million dollars towards yearly trips to Harvard at his school. The money left over is now being put towards a scholarship for students at his school, a scholarship named after him. For most of history, we have taught students what has been learned before, because as Isaac Newton said, if I have seen further than others, it is by standing on the shoulders of giants. But that may no longer be enough. Every day, the world is evolving. Technology is increasing exponentially. The population is, a, is growing. Times are changing faster than we can even say times have changed. We are moving so quickly in the 21st century that it may no longer be good enough to teach students what has been learned thus far. We need to teach them to look forward, to be inspired to create change on their own. Inspiring youth every day at school will help us look forward. We, need to, we must continue to encourage our young people to first stand on the shoulders of giants and then leap forth into the future. To the youth in front of me, in case you haven't realized, you are the future. You will be the next inspirations. You will make us better as a province, as a nation, as a planet. Thank you.